Welcome to my kitchen renovation. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. Got a mochi here with me, so don't mind him. See, there he is. <laughs> and I really wanted to go over my kitchen renovation and give you tips and advice when you're thinking about doing a remodel. Now, I did this back in April timeframe, April, May timeframe. So this video is a little old, but I've been so busy with my own job with real estate that I haven't had time to really actually compile this video together. So I'm gonna show you every step of the way as well from beginning to end of my whole entire kitchen renovation, also laundry room and downstairs guest bathroom. So the point of this video is to give you also some tips that I learned along the way. Overall, I'm very happy with the final product, although it did take a little longer than I had anticipated. So my first tip is to get three or four different estimates from different companies. Basically what I did was I just Googled kitchen renovations on Google and you know, a bunch of different companies came out. But most of these companies were like big name companies and they actually were quite expensive. So that leads me to my second tip and hire individual contractors. So what I did was I hired a cabinet guy that cabinet guy knew a countertop guy, a tile guy, a plumber, etc. So I hired individual contractors to finish my kitchen, which took a little longer than had expected because of the time frame each of these contractors were available. However, I think I saved at least 20 to 30,000 by doing that route than hiring a company to do it all in one. Most of these companies were quoting me like 30,000 to do my kitchen renovation and that did not even include the countertops or the appliances. So that's that's huge, you know, 30,000 for a kitchen reno is is a lot. <laughs> um, I I had pipe dreams thinking that it would only cost about 20k, but you know, appliances alone and I got all brand new appliances was a lot of money. And number three is buy prefabricated cabinets. So I went with the kitchen concepts who did my kitchen. The contractor was Fred and there was a local store here that provides prefabricated cabinets. I didn't need extremely expensive cabinets. I didn't need custom cabinets. I just needed it to fill my kitchen space. Um, and the good thing about these cabinets and drawers was that they are self-closing. So that was nice white shaker cabinets, but I saved because they were prefabricated and we designed the kitchen to fit the cabinets or the cabinets to fit the kitchen, whichever it is. <laughs> um, but prefabricated cabinets saved out, saved me tremendously. So for my kitchen cabinets, which includes the kitchen, laundry room, and bathroom, it cost around $10,000. That includes labor and also um, doing the sub board and inserting the, the pools, the, the knobs and whatever accessories. Tip. And tip number four is order your hardware, like your faucets, your tile, your appliances, etc., ahead of time before you even start the kitchen reno because of the way things are with back order. A lot of things were back ordered. So yeah, you gotta order some of the stuff ahead of time and have it ready when the kitchen reno takes place. And tip number five is expect delays. Seriously, really. It took at least two months to complete my kitchen, if not a little longer, because of things being back ordered and the availability of my contractors. So when you go the individual route, when you hire individual contractors, there are some delays and that's the con with doing that, with hiring individual contractors. However, I don't know if this would have been different if I would have hired a company to do it all in one, just because of what's happening here in Las Vegas due to COVID and also all the other new construction that's going around across the valley. So expect delays in any renovation you do, not just a kitchen remodel. So you guys ready to hear the final numbers of my kitchen reno? 
it cost me a little over 44,000. But that also includes my laundry room and second bathroom or guest bathroom downstairs. And it also includes all the appliances that I bought. I bought a brand new washer and dryer, double oven, cooktop range, refrigerator, dishwasher, microwave, all black stainless steel appliances. And those aren't cheap. Plus you gotta figure the four sinks that I had to buy, the faucets, all the hardware, the tile, everything. 44,000, which I don't think is as bad as I had thought. It's a little more money than I wanted to spend. However, you know what? My kitchen looks pretty good. And I decided to go the whole black and white theme with the white shaker cabinets and the black accents because I feel that as a classic look, it's a timeless look that will last for years to come regardless of 10 years from now, everyone always likes white cabinets. Being a real estate agent, I always think of what people are always looking for when they buy a home. Not only the style that I like, but also what is going to be sellable. When you design your kitchen, you want to make sure that you don't just go crazy and that it's a timeless kitchen and not with just the latest trends that are happening right now. Um, that's important too when you are remodeling anything in your house. The sad thing is, is that I look at a lot of new construction homes, a lot of model homes. I get so many ideas that I want to do with my house, but you know what? Uh, <laughs> I got to be careful. I would love to remodel my bathrooms upstairs. I'd love to put new flooring in, but you know what? We need to save money as well. Anyway, so I'm going to show you all my videos, footage from beginning to end of my kitchen renovation. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. As always, you know, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching. Let's go see what this looks like. Welcome to my kitchen renovation. And there's Mr. Mochi. I'm going to be redoing my entire kitchen. I do have white cabinets. They're old from circa 1993. They're falling apart, the, the traditional style. I'm gonna replace them with the white shaker cabinets. Um, I thought white is just a classic color. Everyone likes white cabinets. And then I'm gonna get black granite countertops, which surprisingly I like the granite over the quartz. It just was a very cool design. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is extend the island to the edge of the oven and do a nice waterfall effect because the granite that I had chosen has this cool pattern that will flow down into the waterfall. Then what I'm going to do is get rid of the microwave here. See how it protrudes? Get cabinets to make it flush and then put the microwave in the island. So by extending the island, I'd have some more room and not lose cabinet space. Got all new hardware, black. This is cool, but I got something even better. And then with the cooktop, I'm gonna do this hexagon tile, debating between the four inch and the three inch. Actually, I'm gonna do it in white with the black grout because of the black countertops. I didn't wanna do black and black. I thought I'd do white with the black grout to make it stand out. And then what's gonna happen here is those cabinets on the top are gonna to disappear. And I'm gonna get one of those hoods that goes up with the tile going straight up. I think it's gonna look really good. All new appliances. I'm gonna get 30 inch double ovens instead of these 27 inch. So it's gonna look really sharp. I can't wait to take you on my journey of my kitchen remodel with all cats and animals involved. There's Ozzy. There's Mochi, and I guess that's Kai. <laughs> Stay tuned, I can't wait to show you this awesome kitchen remodel. It's demo day, yay! This kitchen is going bye-bye today. Look how empty it looks. Took out all the pools, all the little light fixture things, whatever they're called. All this is going bye-bye. And I forgot to mention, I'm actually going to be changing out my bathroom and laundry room cabinets too. So this is gonna be all changed out. 
And then my laundry room. So that's kind of exciting to get in on new cabinets in my laundry room as well. Demo day, yay! Progress is being made. All appliances are out. Pretty simple. It's gonna look good. Next, I don't know what's next, countertops. <laughs> flooring now <laughs> should have done it at the same time but that's a lot of work well the guys just left they finished cleaning up they did an actual phenomenal job Everyone kept on telling me that expect a lot of dust and there was no dust. They were super clean, very meticulous how they removed the cabinets, the backsplash, the countertops. I mean, it was very awesome. I should get my floors done before I get my cabinets back in. No, just kidding. It's another project, but super excited. Tomorrow cabinets are coming in. Yay! Of course, I forgot to take before pictures of my bathroom. We shall see. And I forgot to take before pictures of the laundry room, but I think I recorded it, so that's good. But I would have liked to have taken pictures as well. Super excited to get this done. It's coming along, getting there. Pretty smooth process. Oops. Can't wait for it to be completely done. Soon. It's beginning to look like a kitchen. The island's going in next. A couple other pieces left. I still have to do my laundry room and bathroom, but hey, progress is being made. Day two of project is complete. I got most of the cabinets in. Um, had to order a new bigger cabinet because if you recall, I wanted this to be more flush to the edge and the cabinet they had wasn't big enough, so we gotta take care of that. New tile backsplash will go back there. Can't wait for the countertops to come in. And I'll be getting a farmhouse sink right there. The dishwasher got all my appliances ordered today. Thank gosh, goodness. This is gonna be a big section. Turn it out, new refridge coming. Can't wait. Let's show you the progress on the laundry room and bathroom. I still have the cabinets to go here and finish this up. And then the bathroom, I just need my countertops and clean. All right, day two complete. Day three of construction. Put the subtops on and my new oven just came in double oven by lg thank you and the black um fingerprint proof stainless steel Looks still dark gray to me not black but i guess it'll be better than that color which the new fridge comes tomorrow it's coming out together 
here's my makeshift kitchen. <laughs> Got a little toaster oven. Can't wait for all this to be over with. Can't stand this mess. Welcome to day three of the remodel. They got the island in. They got everything ready to roll. All my handles are in. New fridge comes tomorrow. Dishwasher comes tomorrow. And the handles are in, I like it. New stove. It's supposed to be the black stainless steel print proof. Pretty cool. And then let's take a peek at the laundry room and bathroom. I was two handles too short. And then, almost there. Now I need to clean. Fun, fun. It's coming together, getting the countertops in. Can't wait. I'm gonna get my sink. It's almost there. Then the tile done. And then the cooktop and the range hood. Check out my new lights. It'll be done. Can't wait. Wow, it's coming together. Finally got all the countertops in. The sinks are in. Tomorrow the plumber comes to put the hardware in and attach the plumbing. And then on Tuesday, the um, towel guy comes to Put my backsplash. Very nice. It's looking really good. And I'm gonna fix that dishwasher on Tuesday. Hey everyone, Angela O'Hare, and my kitchen is 90% complete. They just finished up on the tile backsplash. Check out this lovely island with a kitty over there. All I have left now is my cooktop and range hood, but that doesn't come in until June 7th. But look how good that looks. Spent a month getting this kitchen completed. I like the cabinets, got the drawer microwave with the black stainless steel appliances, dishwasher just came in today, and I have a nice farmer sink. I did get a double basin because I like to put dishes in my sink. <laughs> But it turned out pretty good. Some minor work that needs to be done by my contractor. I didn't want to have tile there, so that needs to be painted. But other than that, it is looking pretty, pretty, pretty. Four weeks and this bad boy is done. Look how nice it is. OMG, my kitchen is finally ready. There's an Aussie. The last piece of the puzzle was this vent hood that took forever. But, oh, there's a ruby. Turned out really good. My new shutters, my new lighting. This turned out really nice. All new appliances, it's called black stainless steel. I am so happy, here's the rest of my house. Just waiting on a couple of rugs. A whole new double oven. And then a microwave in the island. 
and another sink on the island or in the island. So it turned out really, really, really good. Very happy to finally have, after months, my kitchen. Just gonna get a rug right there. Some other different rugs to match. Alrighty. Well, I hope you enjoyed this whole journey of my kitchen redo. Hey, Moach. You want to say hi to everybody? I, I can't love you while I'm doing a video, boy. <laughs> silly, silly, silly. Mochi, mochi. Mochi, mochi. You want to say hi to everybody? You want to say hi to everybody? Oh, mochi. I got mochi here. Okay. Who's my mochers? No, don't bite me. Okay, let's let's do this video. Can I do this video, mochi? Please. Please. Come here, mochi. Say hi to everybody. Say hi to everybody. Okay, now sit still.